day good day to everybody today we're working on this 2018 honda fit hybrid or ima that means integrated motor assist that means this uh, particular vehicle has most of all the honda um, they use um, an attached electric motor on the back of the transaxle to just help to propel the vehicle this vehicle works with the electronic manual dual clutch transmission it works very fine it's very efficient um, but in this episode I'm going to show you guys the hybrid system of this particular vehicle so we are servicing first changing oil we're using the proper oil for hybrid engines and well we'll continue I'll be showing you guys all right guys so before we enter the hybrid system I wanted to show you quickly I just removed the air filter housing all right so we'll take a look at the, at the intake and uh, we are looking here right in top of the transaxle these two reservoirs it's this is brake fluid for the dual clutch system all right so this dual clutch system works with these electric motor activator over here all right who's with these the gear selector and this this is a mechatronic device all right which just simply activates the dual clutch system all right as you can see this is the main uh, three-phase wiring coming directly from the high voltage battery where it's you can see the electric well of course you won't you won't see the electric motor located inside the the transaxle right but i just want to remind you that with honda dual clutch system you need to replace this fluid every 50,000 kilometer every, every from 30 to 50,000 kilometer all right but as more often you check that would be better all right just wanted to let you know so we'll continue all right guys so if you want access to the hybrid system the first thing you got to do is access to the back of the vehicle raise up this mat over here there you go eh? we got the battery cover so let me remove this from here whoa we will remove this top cover too moment we gotta do it gently not so tough that's it she's out all right so we gotta take this side cover this side cover I will show you what's that first of all. Just a moment. So we will continue. Just give me a chance. All right, guys. So after removing this couple of plugs, we got this cover. And there you go. And what this is? Yes. Yes. This is our service plug. We need to remove it. There you go. Before doing anything to the hybrid system. That's it. So with this, removing this, remember, we are opening the circuit. From inside the high voltage system now we can manipulate the entire battery so we'll continue all right guys so we just removed the top cover and then we have access to the lithium-ion battery so the lithium-ion cells are located inside this chamber over here and this part is the inverter with converter assembly they're separated but they're still inside the same cabin and right here to the side, we have access to the fan. All right. All right, guys, so we're here back in the hybrid lab. This is the complete high voltage battery of the 2018 Honda Fit. And, but in this episode, we wanna, we wanna take a look, a quick look inside the chamber where the high voltage battery cooling fan blows. As you can see, that's the inverter assembly with the converter assembly. Right, there are separated parts, but they have the where they are air cooling. So as you can see, the fan over here attached directly into the side of the battery. In this episode, we're disassembling. Let's take the cover apart. Just a moment. Just, all right, it's clean already. I'm just cleaning to make sure I'm cleaning the blades properly. Yes. See the dust in the blades. There you go. That's that what we were talking about on the latest episode that you need to be aware of and one of the other interesting things we found inside the chamber is and yeah there's a, there's a colony we found over here all right so this is the battery chamber we're just gonna clean it blow it 
Uh, make sure everything, everything's properly. This is the capacitor over here. This is the connection that goes directly into the AC compressor. The service block, our junction block over here. We're actually not doing anything to this because it's impeccable clean. All right, but we just want to service in the battery and just making a quick review of the battery, all right? So we'll continue. All right, so we're looking at the battery from, the, from a different perspective and um, let's, let's just make a quick review here about the... All right, this is the battery junction block, all right? These are the two main contactors. This is the pre-charge contactor. Uh, this is the main fuse. Let's identify all its parts. This is a s small little relay that that's come feeds from the low voltage to activate this high voltage relays. All right. So here's our low voltage connector coming from the rest of the vehicle. This component over here, this is our battery management unit. All right, which monitors each one of the cells and also balance the voltage between them. All right. That means to keep all the voltage equally. All right. This is one of the main DC current outlets which feeds directly the AC compressor. And the main power outlet comes from the battery to the capacitor and the capacitor has the, out, the outlet directly to the three-phase AC current. And uh, all right, so underneath over here, we will, well, you, you won't be able to see it, but it won't be really necessary to take them out. So we have the inverter assembly with the converter, right? That's, that means the DC to DC converter. Well, basically this was just a, a quick review of the battery. So we're just going to assemble and put it back. Let's continue. All right, guys, the battery is completely assembled. Uh, we already cleaned the debris, the atomic ants we had inside this cover underneath it. Uh, everything assembled, as you see, it's a plastic, completely insulated from, from, the, from the chassis. And it's ready to assemble inside the vehicle. So we'll continue. All right, guys, this is the compartment where the battery rests. I just was blowing it with high pressure air. Make sure the compartment's clean. Remember the fan absorbs everything from here. It was a little dusty, it had some debris, especially because of uh, the condition of the blades, but yeah, it's good to go. So we'll just assemble back the battery and that's it. We'll continue. All right, guys, so we're almost done. We'll just put the battery on its position. We just gotta plug the three-phase cable, positive cables. The, these are a couple of grounds. There's another ground here that goes directly to the chassis. Fan its services. This is the low voltage controlling system to the battery. This is the connector for the AC compressor. That's pretty much it. So we just start screwing up and that will be it. I'll show you when we start the vehicle. We'll continue. <laughs> All right, guys. So the vehicle started with absolutely no problem. Everything completely clean. All right. So we have the happy customers over here. Hey, <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah, the vehicle running. Let's just check. Sport mode. All right, so the engine started. All right, so, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a little bit educational to show you how the components of this vehicle and um, the ideas for you guys to have a little more appreciation of the different types of hybrids that you see in the market, all right? Everyone works with the same technology with just a little particular differences, but same electric motor for the, for example, the, the electric water pump, the electronic compressor, the dual clutch uh, with a mechatronic system, you know? There are many differences, but it's basically the same technology. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next episode. See you next time.